I'm Lionel Rouquayrol. I'm working for the French Space Agency. And the French Space Agency is the French national uh, space organization. We develop space instruments in uh, cooperation with uh, NASA, other organizations. Our job is to perform the integration, the tests of the instruments or satellites before launch. My name is Theodore. I'm in charge of uh, assembly and testing uh, satellite at Toulouse. Uh, MMX is a little rover we go on a Mars uh, moon uh, named Phobos. In this project, we use 3D printing to make uh, parts to assembly and test uh, the rover. Okay, with the traditional way of, uh, of making specific tools, is to design it, to send it to manufacturer, wait so for some days to, uh, to have the tools, test it in a cleaning room, make a new design, send it back to the manufacturer, and uh, that took some uh, weeks. With the 3D printing, we design it and print it for the first time, test it on the satellite. 3D printing, we can use it in a day. Uh, at the beginning, we have only one 3D printing, and it was capable to do only one material. Now with uh, in time 6, 610 and uh, 410, we are capable to do all the material you want, like polycarbonate, peak, ultem, all OS to use 3D printing in more complex points. The ease of use of in time 6, 610 is really impressive. Uh, even if we use a specific material like uh, ESA peak, we use uh, in time six peak profile we change only few parameters and it's okay we can have the first part uh, to use uh, on a clean room this part is, uh, was printed with uh, the the in time six 610 so the material is the api 9085 uh, from in time six that was uh, fully printed uh, in uh, one shot before I make an instrument on a satellite, uh, we make a prototype to, um, to put it under a stratospheric balloon. In the stratospheric area, there is no atmosphere, there is a very thin atmosphere. So we have to test new propellers like this one. So the good thing for, uh, for us, for the mechanical engineer, the design is qualified for this prototype. But for us, it is also good because the, on the same test, uh, the material of intensity, the PEI, uh, was also qualified. So now we know we can use it in a vacuum chamber without uh, outgoing, which uh, impact the performance of the optic. We make a roadmap and we want to develop more and more the use of 3D printing on space industry. If we consider that there is only a few parts on satellite and the parts are more and more complex, the role of 3D printing will be larger in the future in space industry, on satellite and uh, on uh, rover and spacecraft. <laughs>